Today I want to talk about Daniel chapter 9 verse 27. The Bible reads, And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Now, this is a verse that deals with the abomination of desolation. It's a very famous verse, and I've heard this verse preached my whole life. But one thing I've noticed is that whenever you listen to preachers who believe in the pre-tribulation rapture talk about Daniel 9.27, they always completely change what it says. And I've heard this my whole life growing up in pre-trib churches and, and in recent years, whenever I talk to anybody who's pre-trib or hear people talk about the pre-trib rapture, you'll always hear them say this, that the seven-year tribulation, of course, I don't believe that the tribulation lasts seven years, but that's what they believe. So I'm saying what they believe. They say the seven-year tribulation will start out with the Antichrist signing a peace treaty with Israel. And they say the Antichrist is going to sign that peace treaty with Israel and then he's going to break that treaty halfway through. Well, I always ask him, well, where does it say that in the Bible? And they'll point to uh, uh, Daniel 9.27. But listen again to what Daniel 9.27 says. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Now, they're looking at that and saying that's a seven-year peace treaty with Israel. Well, here's the problem. There's no mention of Israel. Where does that say a peace treaty is being signed with Israel? The Bible says he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Many is not Israel. The word many means four or more. And so that's not a covenant with Israel. That's a covenant with many. There's no many. So again, it's just a fabrication there. Now, this, this confirming of the covenant with many for one week, that might not even be something that we see. That's probably going on behind closed doors some way where, where the Antichrist is making some kind of an agreement with many people, perhaps Rockefeller and Rothschild in a smoke-filled room, whatever that is. It's dead sure not a peace treaty with Israel, though. It's some kind of a covenant that's being confirmed with many. That's what the Bible actually says. Now, the other thing about this is that pre-trib believers will often say that the first half of the seven years is a time of peace because there's this peace treaty with Israel. It's going to be broken halfway through, but the first half is a time of peace. Well, that's not consistent with what the Bible teaches because when the second seal is opened in the book of Revelation, the, you know, the first thing that happens as far as the end times is the first seal, second seal, third seal begin to be opened. Well, when the second seal is opened, the Bible says that there went out another horse that was red and power was given unto him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. So according to the Bible, one of the earliest events of the tribulation is warfare all over the world. Matthew 24 talks about it. Mark 13 talks about it. And in Revelation 6, it talks about it with the opening of the second seal, that world war is one of the early events of the tribulation, the second seal, in fact. So this doctrine that says, well, the Antichrist is going to make a, a peace treaty with Israel for seven years, that's not found in the Bible. And secondly, this doctrine that the first half of the tribulation is going to be a time of peace, that is not biblical because the Bible is very clear that the tribulation will be a time of warfare all the way back to the second seal.